Hello and welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome to my beauty life. Today's video is going to be a haul video with stuff from QVC, from CVS, from Ulta, from Sephora, just a whole conglomerate of stuff. So if that's something you're interested in seeing, please keep watching. So I have just stepped everything in this box and it really is just a mishmash of stuff that I have been collecting over the past week or so that I wanted to share and have not gotten to use yet. So let's get into it. First up is just a replacement of the Morphe Continuous Mist Setting Spray. This is Megan's Holy Grail and she needed a replacement, so that's what that one is for. We also are trying the Anastasia Dip Brow Gel and we are in the color medium brown. Both Megan and I use the Anastasia Brow Wiz, but thought we would be adventurous and give the dip brow a try. And that's what the packaging looks like. Now we have never used a product like this, but I thought we would give it a try. I've read good reviews about it and I've watched videos, so it doesn't seem to be that difficult to use, but we'll see. Then next up, I was in CVS and I have seen so many videos on the new Revlon Candid Natural Finish Anti-Pollution Foundation. And it looks like this. And I picked up the color 130 Ivory. It's so hard to tell in CVS because my CVS doesn't have any testers. So I'm hoping that this is the right color. And I also picked up the new Photo Ready Candid anti-pollution setting powder looks like that and this is in the color 001 I think they might have only had one color I'm not quite sure also at CVS I saw this physician's formula spotlight illuminating primer and I thought that that would be something neat to try out Blurs, corrects, and perfects infused with five filtering luminescent pearls to blur imperfections and deliver a spotlight glow. Enriched with antioxidants, protect skin, and visibly reduce redness. So I'm pretty excited to try that one out. If you've tried this, leave me a comment below and let me know how you liked it, if it worked, if it didn't work, and how it was under your foundation. Then this is a replacement for the Laura Mercier and this is the secret brightening powder for under eyes. I love this one. I received a sample size in a box and I really liked it so I picked up a full size. Next up is a ColourPop Super Shock Shadow. And this is one that Megan picked up. It's so nice to be able to pick up ColourPop in Ulta now. And this is in the color Cheap Date. Uh, beautiful gold, just a beautiful gold color. It's so soft and smooth too. And that's what it looks like. She's been looking for a gold eyeshadow and finally found one that I think is gonna be perfect. Then I picked up um, this heart melter from Kaja Beauty. And this is in the color Be Mine. And I just thought that it was so cute that it's shaped like a heart. And it's a click. You click it for it to come up. And it's just a really, really pretty pinkish plum, very shiny, which is something that I like for my lip products. That one was from Sephora. And then two more things from the grocery store. I love it when I get the CVS coupons 
most of the time I don't get a chance to use them or I forget to use them, but every once in a while I catch it just at the right time and I can get something for not very much money, which, you know, feeds my habit. So this is the Revlon, Revlon Super Lustrous Lipstick in Spicy Cinnamon. And my CVS did actually have testers of this, which was amazing. And this really is just a creamy, again, shiny, brownish cinnamon color, um, more mauvey brown color. And I don't have anything like this, so I picked this one up and I really like the formula. I'm excited to try that one out. And then the other lip product that I got was Revlon Color Stay Ultimate Liquid Lipstick. And this one is in number 25 and I am not sure what the color is. If I can find the color online, I will put it in the description box below. But uh, as you could tell, I have a little issue with lipsticks. I'm a little bit of a lipstick hoarder. And one day I will do a lipstick collection video and you'll be able to see just how much lipstick I really have. Oh, this is pretty it's patchy I don't know how that's gonna be on the lips but I'm definitely gonna give it a try it's a pretty color it's a mauvey color uh, looks very similar to that color which usually happens but I'm definitely gonna give it a try and I'll let you know after I've used it how I feel about it then last but not least was my purchase from QVC. And I don't purchase from QVC very often, but we just happened to be flipping through the channels on a weekend morning and it cosmetics was on and they were showing this beautiful Bye Bye Pores bronzer, the poreless finish airbrush bronzer. And it comes with this beautiful brush in the set. And the set for both of these was $36 and the brush itself is $58 so really how could you pass it up I definitely couldn't and this is what the packaging looks like so really really pretty packaging that kind of sucked me in as well and this is what it looks like on the inside paper stuck and then underneath they have the little It Cosmetics brush, which I never do use that brush. I guess some people do, but I typically leave it in there or toss it out. And this is so soft and smooth. And I was watching them um, putting it on the model and it just looked beautiful. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see. It's just a really, really light wash of bronze that, I wouldn't use to do any contouring, but just to bronze up my face. It went on beautifully. And the best part, look at this brush. Really, I think I might have been in it just for the brush. But it is their Bye Bye Pores Powder Brush, number 701, um, from the Heavenly Skin line. And it just is the softest, most beautiful brush I think I've ever seen. So I have been waiting to do this video before I use this. And actually, I really don't want to put this beautiful white brush in the bronzer, but I think tomorrow I will give it a try. So I will keep you posted on everything that we picked up once we've had a chance to use it. And if you've gotten anything recently that you want to share, please leave me a comment below. If you've tried any of these products, please let me know that as well. If you have liked this video, please give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.